Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to be comparing Colby Barlow and Quinton Musty, two left wingers who should project to become top six wingers at the NHL level someday. If you're new here, then be sure to subscribe. Both players come with pretty solid size. Barlow is six foot, Musty is six two. They're both about 190 pounds. They both shoot left. And they both had some pretty good seasons in the OHL. I think they both finished in the top three for most points per game. Barlow had 59 games played, 46 goals, and 79 points. Or Musty, he had 53 games played, and he had 52 assists, 78 points. I would say that Barlow should be going in the top 10, maybe top 15, and Musty, I see him going somewhere between 15 and 25. Barlow nearly put up that 50 goal season, so I'm thinking he should easily become the better goal scorer. He's got this laser beam of a shot. It's extremely accurate, very strong. I love that quick release that he has. It can be deceptive. It can be unexpected. He's good for those toe drag releases. He's got a little bit of Connor Bedard vibes going on there. And just in general, this guy's going to be able to score in various amounts of ways from distance. He's good in front of the net. His one-timer is dangerous. Just a total booming shot that he's got. He finds open ice. You just know that this player is going to light it up on the power play in the NHL someday. I think there's a ton of upside here for Barlow. I think he's somebody who could put up consistent 40 goal seasons in the NHL. He gives me some Kyle Connor vibes. Now, Quentin Musty, he comes with some goal scoring upside as well, but it's nowhere close to Barlow's ability. I really like what this guy can bring to the table during five on five play. He's very effective. He does have some tricks up his sleeve. He's really good at opening up space. He wants that room, and when he gets what he wants, he seems to get the job done. Seems like he's not the best when he's under pressure, so he's really itching to get that space. Musty has an effective one-timer as well. Not as good as Barlow's, but he did score some beauties this season with the one tee. Musty is good for picking his spot. He's got a solid wrist shot. I just don't really ever see him getting to that elite category for being such a dangerous goal scorer. But he should be able to put up a bunch of 20, 30 goal seasons. And who knows, you know, he might get way better in this area. But for now, I would say that's about a safe bet. Musty is a pass first kind of player. I mean, he had more than 50 apples. He's clearly going to be the better playmaker compared to Barlow. He's a really good player while he's under pressure in the offensive zone. When it comes to passing, shooting not nearly as much, but when he needs to make a quick pass and one that will be solid and effective, he does a really good job there. He reads the ice well. He's good at identifying open lanes, and he's also great at creating space to open up some lanes. He's got a lot of creativity going on. He pulls off difficult feeds. He executes good passes through tight lanes. Love the vision. He's a pretty smart player. You've got to respect the hockey IQ that he's got. I would just like to see some of his decision-making improve. If he could just think a bit faster, then I think he's really going to be able to get to that elite level with the playmaking. Musty is also dependable all over the ice. I mean, you can expect this guy to help with transition. He's going to make responsible plays in his defensive zone. Just smart player. Makes good passes. Colby Barlow has that shot first mentality, but there is some good upside here with his playmaking abilities. He displays time to time that he can make impressive passes. He can find a way to get it through difficult lanes. He'll rip a sharp feed through the opposition and it'll find its way to his teammates. His timing is great. When it comes to passing, and he's got a ton of patience, which I really like that about him, he can find a way to buy himself some additional room on the ice, and this really changes a lot, and it helps him so much. He's a pretty smart player. In the NHL, he's going to be such a weapon on the power play. This guy's going to be able to rack up the points on the man advantage. So Barlow has that playmaking upside. We know he's going to be an elite goal scorer. Something that helps him even more is these beautiful hands that he has. 
Some other players in this class have better moves for sure, and they'll show more consistency. But Barlow shows all sorts of flashes where he does amazing stuff, the way he moves the puck on the ice. I think I might overrate him a little bit here, but I see a ton of potential. He does have some moments where he tries a little too much, but I mean, most players are guilty for that. He really knows how to protect the puck. I would say he's a bit better at protecting the puck, and if he gets bigger too, that's going to help him so much. But being six foot, 190 pounds, he's already where you would like to be at least, and you know that he's going to get bigger too. So good hands, and he's good at protecting the puck. And just he's so effective when he charges towards the net. That great burst of speed that he has. He uses his frame perfectly. He hustles and creates space for himself to score. He pulls off all sorts of flashy moves. Like he does have me surprised all the time. I think the filthy mitts help him in all sorts of ways. The fast hands help him dangle and score nice and close up against the goaltender. His work ethic is so fantastic. His great positioning helps him a lot as well. Seems like he's always in the right place at the right time. Barlow for sure beats Musty when it comes to the hands. I would just like to see Musty be better here. His stick handling is rather inconsistent and he can't seem to execute flashy dangles. He shows some signs of life here and there but he'll likely never have those super elite hands. He's better with making a nice little move before he shoots, but when it comes to dancing through a player or two, we need to see some improvement here. He can go to work in the offensive zone. He's really good at protecting the puck as well, so he does have that going on for him, and his stick has a good reach, and he makes all sorts of effective plays with that. He's good along the boards. Something that would help out Musty a lot is if his skating ability could improve. He does have this solid speed, but I would like to see it get a bit better. The lack of speed can hurt his game time to time. He does have this great power stride. His edge work is okay. That initial stride isn't my favorite. And just the way Musty hits the brakes, and then when he's changing directions, he's just not so great with that. Overall, he is a solid skater. It's not like there's this massive hole when it comes to his skating, but I just don't think he's ever really going to hit that elite level when it comes to skating. But it should improve over the years, and that will help him very much. I would say that Barlow has a better chance at being a more so elite skater. He has a chance to get to that elite level. He's just got great speed. He's got solid enough edge work to get the job done. It still needs work as well, but it is better than Musty's. The stride needs work, but it'll improve. Overall, it's pretty good. Not elite yet, but I like the potential here. There's a ton to like about Colby Barlow. He's just gifted offensively. But what makes him even more valuable is his promising two-way game. You can count on Barlow to make great forechecking and backchecking efforts. The speed combines well with his good stick checking and the way he uses his body. He's a really gritty player. He's good along the boards. He uses his size well. Barlow strives to be a difference maker all over the ice. I mean, he is by far from lazy. He's always involved in the play, and he's just working very hard to make sure that his team has possession. Now, I don't think he's going to be this defensive superstar but certainly a lot of good value there with his defensive ability he is really solid in this area and then you combine that with his elite goal scoring upside this is just such a great player he's very complete there's so much potential and scouts are going to be all over it i mean you consider the fact that he just doesn't really have many holes in his game he has what it takes to be a first-line winger at the NHL level. There's a lot to like about Musty, too. I just think it's a little more uncertain as to what he does project to become at the NHL level. I think a second-line winger would be a safe bet. There is that small chance that he could evolve into a first-line guy, but also a third-line guy. I mean, he, he could end up being a middle six winger. There's a lot to consider here. But he does come with such a great two-way ability as well. And that's going to help him very much. 
Musty is a big player, and he uses his size really well. He's also a really good forechecker and backchecker. I just would like to see that skating improve because I think that that would make him so much better in this area. In the defensive zone, he has good coverage. You can always depend on this guy to stay on his man. And his reach comes in handy. He is so good with his stick, and he's always disturbing the play and helping turn that puck over and making sure that his team does gain possession. This guy has so many little details to his game that go unnoticed, but the coaches love it. The scouts love it. It's players like Colby Barlow that make this draft class that much more special. Quentin Musty is also really good. I mean, if he ends up going in the late stages of the first round, then a team could for sure have a big steal on their hands. Barlow, like I was saying, I see him going around 10, but I mean, there is maybe that chance he ends up around 15. And like I was saying, I kind of compare him to Kyle Connor. Connor went 18th overall, I believe, in the 2015 draft. So if Barlow goes around this stage, that would be insane. And teams will probably regret it down the road because I do think that this player is going to score some big numbers at the NHL level someday. If I had the choice, I would draft Colby Barlow over Quentin Musty for sure. But I could be wrong. How do you guys feel? Let me know in the comments section below. If you had the chance to choose between these two left wingers, who would you go with and why? The feedback has been really awesome. Just the way all of you guys engage in the comments section and leave likes and subscriptions. Everything counts. So if you're new here, then be sure to support the channel. And I will see you all next time. Thank you for tuning in today.